Looking to decorate for less? Hey, let's have a tea party. I have this great little bouquet that I picked up very inexpensively and it's got a lot of great colors and great flowers in it. Let's start, as we generally do, taking off the sleeve and separating the flowers by varieties and by color. Okay, now that we've got all the varieties separated, make sure you've got your pre-mixed water with your, your floral fruit in it. See my quick tips in case you don't know how to do that. And I'm going to fill my two little teacups with some water like that. They don't have to be the same kind of cups. They don't have to, you could do this with a coffee cup. You could do it with a glass. You could do it with lots of different things. So the way this bouquet works out is I have two white daisies, two green, two lavender, two carnations, and then one Gerber daisy. What I'm gonna do is take one stem of my lavender and I'm gonna remove all the foliage that's going to be below the water line. And now I'm going to cut these kind of short. So what I'm going to do is pull off some of these laterals down here at the bottom. You could use a little scissor too and snip them off like that. And those are all about the same length anyway. Let me take another stem of my green and I'm going to put that right in with the others like so. Again, removing the foliage that I know is going to be below the water line and some of these little buds maybe too. Now I'm going to put these back in just like that. Just around the bottom so you have that. Now let's do the same thing with our daisies. I'm taking one stem and I'm going to cut off all of them except for one. The one longer one, I'm going to slip right into the middle like that. I'm going to take the other short ones and place them, some a little higher, some a little lower, but I'm going to place them all around. So I've got a great little bunch like that. Now, let's take our cup and we're going to measure. I want my lowest daisy to land right on the rim of the cup. So by holding it up next to the cup like that, I can tell where I need to cut. But remember, always leave them a little longer first because you can't put that stem back on but you can make another snip. I'm cutting it, still holding it tight, and I'm measuring. And that should actually be just about perfect. I'm going to place it into my little cup like that. And I'm going to put my two carnations and my Gerber daisy or whatever other flower you might have, your larger flower with your two carnations, off to the side. And I'm going to repeat this step. Now that we've repeated that step again, we now have two of our great little teacups or mugs all ready. Isn't this nice and girly looking? This is perfect for a little girl's party. It's a tea party. Now, we still have three flowers still left. I found this great little bud vase. It happens to be pink, but it doesn't have to be. I could have used clear. I could use any bud vase. The important thing is I want one that's going to be taller than the arrangement. So I'm going to take my three extra flowers. Now, this happens to be a Gerber daisy. I'm going to take the little tube off of it that's used for shipping. I'm going to hold my carnations like this. And that's all I'm going to do is one, two, three, in a step style like that. 
once again, I want my Gerber Daisy to land right on the rim of my bud vase. Let's measure it and cut again. Remove any foliage that'll be below the water again. And because we only have three stems, make sure that you're not using a bud vase that's got too wide of a mouth. Otherwise, your flowers are going to move around an awful lot on you. Now, let's put this in the middle and call the Mad Hatter and have some tea.